Welcome back to another vlog, you guys. This vlog is very different. Wow, my house looks so dark. I'm about to leave, so I'm turning off all the lights, but this vlog is going to be super different. I am going to get my first ever micro needling, and I am so excited, so nervous, um, and I'm taking you guys along, and I we're gonna experience this together, so let's go. <laughs> All right, so I just pulled up and I am at Westside Aesthetics. I have waited to get this facial. So I think this facial is called like the vampire facial. It's a micro needling um, facial, but I wanted to get this done before my wedding, didn't have time. So I'm like, you know what? I want to get it before the honeymoon and we leave for the honeymoon in about, um, sorry, the valet person. We leave for the honeymoon in one week, one week from today and I am, so incredibly slammed, so incredibly slammed, you guys, with time and everything, but this is like literally my one day where I'm taking a half day. I'm literally working all day Saturday and I'm gonna try and pack Sunday, but today's Friday, by the way. So, I'm taking a half day today. I'm gonna work basically all day Saturday, grab lunch with Sam and Kat, but then Sunday I'm going to, um, I'm going to pack and then I'm working like non-stop like probably 14 hour days Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so today is my one day I am going to treat myself I'm going to get a facial I'm so excited I heard really great things about West Side Aesthetics so I'm going to take you guys along so anyways let's go let's do it They said it's not that bad, but she said I'm gonna leave here with blood on my face, so. It's kind of crazy, but look at this view. Like, it's amazing. All right, just waiting for the doctor to come in. For me, no expression, okay? No worries. Just like as you would a normal headband. Okay. Okay, Chelsea, you're gonna do me a favor. You're gonna try to not get this in your mouth. Not in my mouth. Yes. Okay. okay. Got it. Um, okay, I'm gonna put it close to your lips. Um, so, if it does get in your mouth, don't worry. Okay. Okay, you're not gonna die, but okay. it rolls on your tongue very quickly, okay? Okay. It also doesn't taste great. Right. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure when I put this on, so it just gets in there, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm so nervous. Oh, don't be nervous. Have no. you done this before? Yes. It doesn't hurt? Plenty of times, no. Okay. No, have you ever had a cat lick you? Yeah. It's, that's what it feels like. Really? Like a little sandpaper-y. Oh, yeah. amazing, okay. It does not feel like how it looks. Okay, great, <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> you're gonna be numb. This will topically numb you, so it'll go a little bit deeper, and like I said, you're, it's almost, it feels like a little sandpaper. Okay. Wait, say that again? It'll feel like sandpaper. Okay. Yeah. Like, but a very fine grape, just like a tongue. Like okay. a cat's tongue, you know, it feels kind of rough? Yeah. That's what it'll feel like. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Numb me up. <laughs> Look up for me. Okay, so you're gonna hang out. That's gonna numb you up. And I'm gonna come back in here. Okay. No allergies or anything, right? No. Okay. I'm so nervous. My whole entire face is about to be numb, you guys. Weird. 
Okay, okay we're taking it off? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we're numb. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the weirdest feeling ever. What are you doing? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're doing one of my favorite treatments, microneedling, but it's not just any old plain microneedling. So microneedling is a procedure where you use tiny needles to make micro traumas to the skin so that we can um, enforce the skin to just generate new collagen and make new skin. But for her, because she complains of some redness in her face, I'm going to be doing a special cocktail of using a little bit of Botox. Now, this Botox is only going to be injected very superficially, meaning that it's only going to affect the skin on top. It's going to leave her looking really nice and poreless. Poreless, I love that. <laughs> um, and then another special thing we're doing is that we're actually going to be microneedling in a little bit of hyaluronic acid. And for this, I'm going to be using Restylane Silk which is a filler that can be injected to give you more volume like let's say in your lips mm. but if i use it while i'm microneedling it over her skin it's just going to help plump her skin and give it more hydration so cool. we're excited yeah let's do it <laughs> Oh, that's it? Yes. Oh, this isn't bad at all. Right? Wow. Oh, Too wow, bad. not bad at all. I was freaking out for nothing. Wow. Hmm. I want to go oh. a little bit higher with the setting, okay? Wow. Not bad. <laughs> I always tell people like it's more annoying rather than like Yeah, it's, it's just like the painful. noise. Yeah. It's kinda like it's kind of annoying, but we'll put up with it. Oh my goodness. Too much? I can go lower. Nope, it's I think it's good. The forehead is actually the most sensitive part. Yeah, I can tell it's a little I can feel like on the bony part. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Though. Barely feel. The temple's a little bit. Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah. We'll go lower on the Not bad. Actually. But my goal is to get to pinpoint bleeding. You want the bleeding? Mm -hmm. Oh, am I bleeding? Oh. I'm trying to get you there. <laughs> so it just feels like a little irritation. I kind of think it's like sandpaper. Ooh. Okay, not bad guys, not bad. Lita would say the pain is like a two. The temples are a little bit sensitive, but terrible. And I'm a baby when it comes to pain, guys, so. Wow, that's it, guys. That's it? Wow. That's not bad. Luckily, okay. I couldn't feel it. Um, okay, wait. We're doing Botox? Where are you Tiny, doing? tiny Botox injections. This is diluted. So the goal is not to freeze you, it's just to smoothen out your skin. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're gonna be concentrating on your T-zone, which is the area that gets the most red. Mm -hmm. um, this is gonna help decrease redness. Cool. It's going to um, make your um, oil glands smaller, so your sebaceous glands, okay. which will mean that it will help you not get any acne, Great. and it will just give you that glass looking. Am I gonna skin. feel this? I don't know, let's find out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't okay. know why. Yes, you will, but it's not so bad. You're okay. like numb and you already have so many things going on. Okay, cool. Fine. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the nose because one, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give you this elastic skin 
repair set. Okay. okay. It has everything you need to repair your damaged skin. Because right now, oh. you consider this is damaged, right? Yeah. So it's going to come with two things. With this one, you're going to use, you can use this one as much as possible. Okay. The moisturizer, and mm. it's just going to go on really smoothly. It's okay. It's really good for rejuvenating your skin. Okay. And the instructions are after you are done with this one, you can go ahead and start with this one, or you can use this one too. Okay. So I could replace this with what I'm using right now. Yeah, I would say okay, like cool. for now, yeah. in terms of moisture, because I know this isn't this is okay for all types of skin types. Mm -hmm. Like I know this is not gonna give us any problems. Cool. And actually, this they have this trihex technology, which basically is like they give you the Lego pieces required to make new skin, like oh. in this bottle. So it's a really nice way to apply it mm -hmm. right now that your skin is going through something. Yeah. So it's gonna be like your Heal moisturizer. Okay? Cool. You can go ahead and use this. Cool. And then okay. um, once your skin heals, and when I say heals, I mean if you go to put something on it and it stings, your mm -hmm. skin is not ready. It takes about okay. a week or two to be able to like reintroduce some of those active yeah. ingredients that you've been using. Mm -hmm. What I'm giving you now is vitamin C. Okay. okay. Vitamin C is like the gold standard treatment for rosacea and redness and stuff huh. like that. So you want to apply this <laughs> underneath your sunscreen. Okay. Okay. So every morning for this? Mor yeah. Every okay. morning and then sunscreen on top. Okay. And as you know, skin care stuff takes a while to work, mm -hmm. so please don't give up after yeah. two. Really give yourself like six weeks. Okay. And then we'll check back in, see how you're doing, and decide from there what we're Cool. Yeah. Amazing. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Have a good time with you. So, just got home, and I'm going to order Postmates. Jay sent me a Venmo and said, Dinner's on me, because guys, I'm home alone this weekend. And I am going to have Sam and Catherine come up. Um, we have a team meeting tomorrow, which I'll take you guys along, but I wanted to show you guys my skin. Let's see. Wow, it like really looks worse than it really is, but like it doesn't, it's not bad. And my face is still numb, like all this is numb, all numb. Um, but you guys, I will tell you, if you're in LA, this place, the people there, everyone was so nice. Everyone was so accommodating. I, I felt so, so I get terrified of needles, like terrified. And um, they, I told them that and they're like, oh, you're good, you're good. And they just made me feel so calm. They were like, yeah, it's like no big deal. They made me feel like I could trust them. Like obviously I'm leaving for my honeymoon in a week, you guys. and. I was like, I don't wanna look crazy, you know? So everyone was really nice. They were gonna do this um, facial where they like draw blood and then they put the blood on my face. Um, and then I started going, uh, and I was like, I don't do very well with needles. And so anyway, she, like she said before, she actually injected me with um, extra, like, um, I don't know if you can see, but like here, a lot of little injections of like Botox, which, I've gotten Botox before, I've gotten Botox like maybe two times and it doesn't hurt, but she did it surface level to basically like smooth out my skin from what I was understanding. So I'm gonna be like a glowy little bee um, for my honeymoon, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna order some Postmates because Jay is buying me dinner tonight and um, yeah, I'm so excited. All right, hello vlog. So it has been about two weeks, maybe three weeks since I got the micro needling and a little bit of Botox all around my face. So I noticed, um, I think, okay, first of all, my skin. My skin is literally like porcelain. I know you can still see like a lot of like redness but my skin, I still have like redness, which I think will probably go away probably the more that I get the microneedling done. Um, Bria did see me about, well, like two weeks after, two and a half weeks after I got done. She was like, wow, your skin looks really, really good. So uh, in person, I think it looks a lot better than like on camera, but my pores look smaller. 
I'm sure if I get like my skin doesn't look as red in person I don't know why it looks so red on camera but you see a lot of redness right but in person you don't see as much so anyways I also noticed like where she did the Botox like so she did Botox here and then here I noticed that I think it's no I know it's too much so I'm actually gonna go in and get some of it dissolved or like reversed I don't know what it's called um because it's just like my smile's a little different and I don't like it and I noticed that on the honeymoon but other than that I am so incredibly happy with how it looks in person like my skin looks up here looks like porcelain like it looks so good see now if I block the light you can't really tell I don't know anyways I'm happy with it um I think I did get a little bit too much Botox here um because my smile is a little bit different but we're gonna fix that I'm like not worried about it um so yeah I'm really happy with it I wanted to just share with you guys a three week three two and a half three week um update on my skin Sorry, the lighting keeps like changing but anyways if you guys have any questions let me know below I will um put all of the information for where I went they were amazing um and yeah Thank you guys for watching and going along with me on this journey and I will uh, I'll update you guys in another vlog like how you know the reverse of some of this Botox like um, you know what happens and stuff like that I'll update you guys later but I'm definitely going to do the microneedling again once they approve me um, because I think like the more sessions you get the better. Anyways thank you guys for watching this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. I can't wait. Okay bye. Cause I'm streaking, streaking